thank you for joining us today. And we're, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dilly dally. I'm gonna jump straight into this video. So I'm gonna share screens. And um, as I'm doing this, I'm just gonna tell you the title of the video. The title of the video is called "Is the Fear of Submission Keeping You Single?" Is the fear of submission keeping you single? Okay, and this is, by the way, a part two to a previous video, and the previous video is called um, What Kings Want in a Wife Queen. What Kings Want in a Wife Queen. Uh, before I get going on this, if you'd like to like the video, if you'd like to share the video with your uh, among your network, um, also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'd be really grateful, and obviously, uh, comments in the chat below. So, is the fear of submission keeping you single? And by the way, this is directed at women, at women and uh, at modern independent women. Okay, so, before we get going on this, I just need to just, uh, just, just to say a few things, just really about how the video may make some people, some women feel. So the idea really is to manage your emotions and to manage your feelings through the process and through and through the time of you watching this video. This presentation is meant to build and not knock women. It's meant to communicate the benefits of submission and it's meant to explain what a king is. The people that may get upset with this presentation include Christian feminists, feminists and womanists. Those that preach the you can have it all gospel to women those that only tell women what they want to hear rather than what they need to hear to get a husband. This presentation will challenge how you feel when faced with the facts. However, if you can get past your feelings and think about what's been presented, it would be of benefit to you. Okay, so who's this presentation for? This presentation is for women who want to turn themselves into queens. It's also for queens who want to assist their son's development. It's also for queens who want to attract a king. This presentation is also for men who want to turn themselves into kings, kings who want to, uh, who want to help their sons uh, make the right choice, and kings who want to identify a queen. It's also for women who want to get married and uh, stay married. It's for women who want to move from being masculine to feminine. It's for men who want to, uh, who want to um, find a helper to achieve their purpose. It's also for men who want to know the difference between a woman and a wife. It's for women who want to know the difference between being a modern independent woman and a traditional woman. And it's for women who want to move from being independent to inter dependent. So is the fear of submission keeping you single? A king, a purpose-driven man, a traditional man will only marry a woman who can submit. Now that's a flat statement. <laughs> I've just made a flat statement there and I believe that statement to be true. A king, a purpose-driven man, a traditional man, all three have things in common by the way, will only marry a woman who knows how to submit? A king, a purpose-driven man, traditional man, has no use for an independent woman at all. No use. Sadly, today, women, young women, are scared of submission in marriage to men due to feminism. So why are modern independent women scared of men? What a sad state of affairs. Why are modern independent women scared of men? Feminists, Christian feminists and feminist mothers have positioned men as dangerous, aggressive and toxic. This is in 2022. This is literally, um, you know, over the last sort of 20, 30 years. Feminist, Christian feminists and feminist mothers have taught their daughters not to trust men. The same group have sought to diminish male leadership and promote the idea that women can lead in exactly the same way 
same masculine way as men. The same group, that's feminist, Christian feminists and feminist mothers have ignored the fact that a woman's strength is in, in her feminine nature. And one of the things that husbands want, we want this, we want women with a feminine nature, not with a masculine nature. We bring that. Fear aside, what does husband headship really look like? So what does husband headship really look like? A queen knows a king's value as visionary, to be a leader, to be a teacher, a cultivator, to be a provider, and to be a protector. And by the way, these six were taken from a book written by Miles Monroe a few years ago called Understanding the Purpose and Power of a Man. There's a sister book that he wrote to this as well called Understanding the Purpose and Power of Women. I suggest you get both. Both books are uh, are great and they taught me a lot so visionary what is that to see the potential of all those under his covering leader to lead by example all those under his covering to be a teacher to be a guide for all of those under his covering to be a cultivator to ensure the development of all those under his covering to be a provider to provide for all of those who make a choice to be under his covering. And by the way, all of these are choices that women make, all right? To be a protector means to protect all of those under his covering. So, you know, when you look at these six points, the idea really is that a wife, a queen, understands what this is all about and makes a choice to sit underneath the covering of her husband, of her king. That's what this is all about. For the record, it's not a king's job to convince a woman that submission is important. A queen already knows. As I said before, it is her choice. She chooses it. Okay, this is quite important. Just a little note about love, because I know that the Western world is, the modern Western world has got its own view, own version of what love is. But um, just for a moment, just entertain me on this version of love, okay? Kings and queens understand this definition of love. And again, this is taken from the Bible. Um, it's, it's a, even though it's taken from the Bible, try and understand, it's really a universal idea of what love is or one version of, of love or the version of love really that I personally choose to, uh, choose to focus on. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you, if you do whatever you, I command you, you are my friend. So your king, your husband should be your friend. And you should follow his lead in the same way that that scripture says, if you do whatever I command you. By the way, that's Jesus in the Bible saying that. So if you do whatever I command you, you are my friend. The wife is called to the same standard. Yeah, the wife is called to the same standard. So your king should be your friend and you should follow his lead. You know, the two go together. OK, you are expecting him to lay down his life for you. He expects the same from you in the form of submission to his leadership. This is the only way you can ensure his covering and protection over you. There's no other way but to follow your husband's lead <clears throat> in terms of him uh, offering you, extending to you his covering and his protection. A queen understands the covering of a king, of a husband. It's impossible to protect a woman who removes herself voluntarily from your covering as a king, as a husband. It's impossible to cover that kind of woman, all right? Okay, so what are some of the fears modern independent women have? What are some of the fears? Here's some of them. And, and I've got to say, this is just some of them. These, these are just some of the ones that I've heard literally over the last 20 to 25 years. I don't want to be chained to the kitchen sink <laughs> by a man. I don't want to be treated like a doormat. I don't want to be told what to do. I don't want to lose my freedom. 
I don't want to be abused by any man. I don't want to be made unhappy. I don't want to be stopped from traveling. <laughs> I don't want to be stopped from studying. I don't want to be stopped from advancing my career or my business by a man. I don't want to give up my individual independent dreams by or for a man. <laughs> I don't want to be put, I don't want to put my life in the hands of a man. I don't trust any man. How sad is that? Not even my dad, not even my brothers. So a woman's fear of submission can keep her single for life. Men, she sees men as her worst enemy. Now, going back to the slide we had before, feminist mothers, this is the outcome. If you're not careful, if you're a mother, be and you're, and you're listening to this, you're watching this, be very, very careful about how you socialize your daughters, about the messages you tacitly and overtly give to your daughters. Because, you know, if you give the wrong messages, then your daughter literally may be single for life. As Kevin Samuel says, she may be academically great. She may earn a lot of money, but she may have to go and buy a dog and die alone. You know, what mother would want that for their daughters? Even if you're single as a mother, even if you didn't get it right, why would you want that for your daughters? Why would you want this, any of this, for your daughters? Why? Think about it. A queen does not allow fear to cause her to miss her blessing of marriage. She knows the character and value of a king, of a husband, and follows him. Okay, popular deflections modern women use to cover up a fear of submission, marriage, and a masculine spirit. Deflection number one, here it is. And I'm sure you've heard it all before. You, if you're a woman, you may even have given, said this before. You may even have given this before. What if he has no vision or purpose? Answer. Why would a queen, if that's what you are, go on a second date with a non-husband? <laughs> Why would you treat a non-husband to a second date? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Makes absolutely no sense. Why would you? Deflection number two. Why should I submit to him? I've just met him. He's not my husband. Mm. Answer. You only submit to your husband. However, your date needs to see a submissive spirit if you want to be a wife and definitely if you want a second date from him if he's the kind of guy you want why would he give you a second date if he doesn't see a submissive spirit coming from you why why would he waste his time you've got to answer that question so when you go on a date there's no point acting in you know there's ways of acting there's ways of being it might need that it might be that you might need to do some work on yourself in order to develop not a, you know in order to go in order to move from a masculine spirit to a submissive spirit it might be that you might need to do that work you know and that's not a bad thing it might be that you may have had a feminist mother that, you know, that's brought you up literally to be masculine. So all of this, this discussion might be new for you and you might be in transition and that's fine. You know, we all start somewhere, but make no mistake, the kind of guy you want, wants a submissive woman and needs to see, needs to see, needs to hear that spirit coming from you, coming from your mouth. Question. So is marriage only for queens who understand and are not fearful of submission? Is marriage only for queens who understand and are not fearful of submission? Well, the answer is obviously yes. Yes and yes again. Marriage is only for people that uh, only for women that uh, are comfortable, happy and see the need for and the benefits of submission. That's who marriage is for. 
And the idea, remember, is not just to get married. The idea is to, yep, stay married for life. So contemplate that even before dating, before talking to any men, get it fixed in your head that you are not just going to get married, you're going to stay married. And then remember, this is a continuation from the, from the previous presentation uh, called What Kings Want in a Wife, Queen. So watch that if you've not uh, already. Do watch that. Uh, do go back and watch that uh, presentation. You can find it on my, on my YouTube channel. So that's the end of this presentation. Um, thank you for joining us. And if you'd like to hit the like button, do, uh, do share the video and subscribe to the channel if you've not already done that. And please uh, write your comments in the, in the comments box below. Um, that's how I know uh, what you're thinking. And uh, that's how we can get this conversation uh, started. So it's been great having you take care. And do watch, uh, do watch the uh, video that I mentioned. Uh, do what do kings want in a wife queen?